Hello, and welcome to my repository. Yeah. Mm. I am the curator. The curator of stories. Stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death. Stories mm. such as this one. I know. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out you see we each make decisions according to our own moral compass and we have to live with those decisions or die by them but you shouldn't fear death it is after all inevitable it is the tax one pays for having lived and it comes eventually to everybody still none of us want for it to come Can too I... soon do we as in life, <gasps> the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's okay. not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken. 
or whatever mess you've made. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water. Diving. Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. It's... It's what? It's embarrassing taking them by yourself. It's embarrassing you came all the way out here expecting me to hold your hand. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Well, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Dude, you know I'm not, like, the best around new people, or whatever. Just shut up. You gotta loosen up. Oh, come on. Just say yeah to everything on this trip. Wait. Trust me, I want you to have a good time. Okay, well, what if somebody asked me to do something stupid, like run around naked or something? Metaphorically. Just go with it. All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing, Julia, it's been rough. Yeah, I gotcha. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey! So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? No. Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. No. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. I don't know. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Who are you? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! <laughs> I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with you. Yeah. yeah. Cool. 
<laughs> Tight. Uh, I, I love beer. Really? <laughs> <laughs> right on, Radical. I like the cut of your ship. It's jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Oh. Yeah. Totally. All the time. Nice. I was worried they're gonna stick me with a noob. Oh, uh, nope. Not noob. I can practically breathe underwater at this point. So you uh, dive a lot? A couple, three times, you know, here and there, family trips. Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? Who are you? You look like you're gonna find something. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Man! He died together. Uh... Oh, and I'm fired. Oh. oh my god. Get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> what about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Hey. How is that nothing? Just think about it. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. What? Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Hey. We found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, looks like World War II. Yeah. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities. As an unreported wreck? Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Yeah. Look, for all anyone knows, we were just diving and then found it. So who cares? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's going to know? Fine. As nah. long as you're quick. The Green Reaper will know. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? I'm touched. I can you imagine the ghost? The evil. We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Right oh. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Nah, bro. Why is he? Yeah. 
What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Jeez, man. You should know how to handle your liquor. Lay off. I'm just trying to bond with Conrad, like you said. My guzzling bruise? Come on. Okay, okay. You go hit the high seas. I'll be up when I'm good. I'm not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. Only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. Hey, hey. Hey, sweetie. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. I don't know what. Hey. Hey, back. Man, we got some good stuff on the camera. Yeah, you did. Hey guys, tanks are ready. Tanks a lot. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you normally just exhale into the water and instead it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way out. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know it. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate? Don't give up. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. Kids, good to go. Just remember the rules, please. I got the bang stick. Yeah, I heard that about you. Ha ha. You ever have to use one? On a shark? Nope. Good? More or less.
us. Too bad Fliss is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You? Are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Sure. Why not? Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? I don't know. You know it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. I was just thinking about buying a boat myself and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. It would be my singular pleasure to help you part with your money. Hmm. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Weather looks clear. Mm. I'll have to keep an eye on those clouds. Uh-oh. It's getting mighty crowded out here. Hey there, how's it hanging? Hey. You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. Too bad charm is not among them. Ah, but my charm is like a boomerang. You think it's gone right over your head until smack. You're out cold. That makes no sense. Huh. I have to keep track of the dive, but I'd be happy to continue this conversation later when I can give you my full attention. In private? Private? Just, just chatting it up, you and I, in the old conversational intercourse. <laughs> Wow, that is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Is that a ghost? Is that a ghost? <laughs> Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia? Hello? No one. No one. What is that?
Jolly. Are you okay? How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. You can. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. Mm. What do you know about this wreck? Just rumors and theories. I got tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there. What got you into World War II? Just stuff I read about in school. Then I found out my grandpa was in the Navy, got lots of medals. I wanted to understand what he'd been through. Got me hooked. You can actually use all those old World War II stories to help them find the sites? Yeah. You know, when they started wreck diving, I realized I could be a pretty good resource. I knew a lot about where, where planes would go, shipping routes. You make a lot of connections. Alex and Julia have done a lot of dives, but I gotta say, finding this plane takes the cake. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. What's that about? That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? Give them. Uh, we are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? Okay. Hey. Here, you see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, ten bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Huh? said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really? On the rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. first can I just take a second to say holy shit Alex we did it I mean can you believe it it's a dream come true <laughs> let's not waste any time not exploring go 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 oh.
Julia, leave it. You don't have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Maybe it is kind of dangerous. Bullet holes, all down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb wrap to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Wow. What the hell happened here? Oh, they People look at things. They knew they were goners. Oh, they people. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Not high on my list of ways to perish. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
It's a great reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't I guess. Oh. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh-huh. Julia, will you no. marry me? No. The barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. So, why are you paying the ocean? Mm. A group of fishermen came by and damaged their boat. Well, they got caught on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. So then uh, Ambassador Conrad figured the best move is to show him he'd rather throw away his money than give it to them. You're an asshole. Huh. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is... What you guys want? Well, okay. I think I didn't. I think I. I think I don't. I think I don't. Thank you. 